All right. Welcome back to the Ninth Degree Fight Cast, everyone. We're going to talk about Usyk and Fury. I know me and the boys already had a chat, but we're going to go through some of these videos because there's been a hell of a lot of contradictions from Tyson Fury to the point where it's getting on my nerves. How about you, boys? You getting on your nerves? Yeah, man. yeah. It's, it's been it's been a long, it's long, too long. much. Too and much. I want to go through the video one week ago um, when he had an interview with Marcos uh, Vieira. His name is, uh, and he asked him some good questions. And let's see the response from Tyson Fury because I want to go through this because after this interview, he literally did the opposite of what he said. In every single shorts they come out with, selling to Usyk. Uh, and it's made me wonder, does he really want this fight? Does he want to fight at all ever again? You know, I, I'm wondering. So let's let's kick it off, Hubs. Let's play the very beginning I want to talk about. Let's go. No worries. Is Usyk doing that? Is, is that the delay in that fight that he's asking for too much or not enough that you feel that, or you feel you should get the lion's share? Get involved in all the um, business side anymore. Because it used to give me a lot of stress and anxiety. So I'd rather not even get involved because what I've learned from these, these boxing fights is they don't get made straight away like I want them to do. I'm the type of man who goes, right, let's have a deal. I watch, yeah, bang, 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 done. But these guys... They like to drag it on for like months and months and months and years even. Yeah. So I'm not into all that shit. And that's what I pay lawyers millions of dollars for. I'm of course you're right there. I'll let them do it. So, it's talking about the right there. I get anxiety. I, let, I hire lawyers to do with all that stuff. I don't get involved in negotiations, blah, blah, blah. Because I'm a man. Bang, 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 bang. I do a deal and stuff. But who's been holding the fight up all this time? He's been holding it up all this yeah. time. <laughs> Who's been doing all the negotiating? I don't well, know. obviously, you know, behind the scenes, his people are. But yeah, he's, but why he's just he... coming on and just making himself look silly now. Well, there you go. He's 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 saying, I don't get involved and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then yet he's the one who's coming on full force. No to 50-50, no to 60-40. You're only worth 30%. And that's your fine warfare. Let's let's carry on. See, he's already contradicting himself right there. Let's go again. Play. Why why are they always dragged out? Like, what's happening? Because I was always told if a fighter really wants to fight, it gets made boom like that. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know. Architects usually about money, and both fighters have got to be willing. Mm -hmm. We know you're more than willing. It's become too much of a business now. More than willing what? To go into a fight with Usyk and anyone. More than willing what? Like you didn't know what he asked you. If the devil confronted me, I would fight him. So, yeah. We're going to see pause, this. Pause it again, man. See, like if yes, the devil where? confronted me, I would fight him. I would fight him. He's asking you about the devil. He's asking about Usyk. And he's going <laughs> to ask him. What's the devil going to do with it? It's all talk, man. It's all too much talk. So I'm thinking also, I believe he wanted to fight Wilder again for a fourth time. Uh, because in this clip here, you're going to see he's going to mention Wilder once again. And then even I think he even says, don't rule out a full fight. Like, why are you going to confidently talk about Wilder like that? Don't rule out a full fight. But you can't ask anything about you, sick. So like, I think Viega here asked ask him a question about Wilder again. And and look what he's look what he says. Let's play. Knock him back out. Yeah. But I just don't think he would. Is that all that an animosity stemming from how he acted to you after the third fight and everything that came with the second fight? No. I just don't think I give him a good enough beating in that third fight. Hmm. That was a beating for the ages. I give him some rattling punches. But he obviously didn't take enough punishment. So, don't, don't rule out a four fight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? Just, like, that, you, you can you can confidently say don't rule out a four fight. Well, why? Why can't you say something like that about Usyk? Why can't yeah, you say... Why don't you fight Usyk? Or fight somebody else? This why fight is going to happen. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, 
Who wants to see a full fight? Yeah, it was exciting. Yeah, yeah, enough. It's not what people want to see or hear about. Do you know what I mean? So I think, personally, I think he was planning to fight Wilder again, I reckon. Um, and that's why he's so mad. I think that's why he's so mad that Usyk has called his bluff and that's been derailed now. He can't... Because he, I think if he was going to fight Wilder, it would have given him lots of time to just chill out and prep later on down the line somewhere and then fight him again. Whereas now he's like got six weeks to train, not even six weeks now, for Usyk. <laughs> Well, do you know what Frank Warren did actually come on uh, online and he said that this fight, no matter what, is going to happen. Which fight? You sick? Yeah, Warren. Yeah. Well, it's, it should happen. You yeah. know what I mean? Like unified, uh, to unify the the heavyweight division now. So he's been called out now, so it better happen. That's so, it. It's so, embarrassing for him. But I think personally, I think he like if you look at his demeanor, he looks like he's not all up for anything. He's not really excited about this. Well, how how old is this? This is like a week or two. It's weeks a week old. old. This is a week. Yeah, a week old. old. Yeah, so uh, he, looks, he looks a lot up for it now. <laughs> well, he ain't got a choice now. I think that's why because that's why he's pissed again, off. Yeah, my man's pissed off. Ah, right, let's continue. But if you look at the fights overall, it, it you were very dominant in those fights. Very dominant, yeah. But it's a competitive fight, so. People are interested in knockouts. So um, the one thing I can't say, say about Wilder is where these other guys are making excuses about how much money they want or want this percentage or want this or want that, Wilder never did. He, ne he never ever complained about, uh, I'm not going to fight because I want this or want that. He just did it. So fair play to him for that one. Usyk, sorry, I've got to say, Usyk's not complained. Look at him, he's not talking, see? I, I wonder if he'll say the same for Usyk then, because yeah. Usyk is taking a low ball off of thirty percent. He so, just wants to. For, he's just doing it for legacy. He's doing it for the title. Well, yeah. we know that. But, well, my question is, he's rating Wilder about that. Ah, he never asked for a certain percentage. He he just went with it. You know, I give him that. So Usyk ain't is pretty much done the same. He ain't asked for anything. Yeah. And uh, he made good off. He made a good offer and he, he refused and gave him a low, low balling offer and he still took it. So yeah. I'm wondering, how, are you going to say things like that about Wilder? You know, you know, good things like that. I mean, good thing about you sick like that. See, there you go. Another contradiction right there. Come Let's on. carry on. Anyway. Let's carry on. We'll see. In terms of you, when are we going to see you back in the ring again? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is it April? Oh. Look at the demeanor. Don't know. I don't know anything about it. Don't know. He don't want to answer that question. Look at it. I want to see so he's many not, He's not. He's not interested to fight, man. That's why he's so mad. Yeah. If you look how, how he sat there, don't know. Don't know. Because now he's got a train. And, now, <laughs> so, and did you see, like, as um, soon as Usyk accepted that offer, he looked like he hadn't even got changed and immediately went running. He looked like he was wearing the same clothes and went running straight away like he ran out, he's run out of time and then he's recording himself first day of training. You know, yeah. only six weeks. Um, but you see, like, he immediately had, you knew, oh, not under I'm under pressure gonna, now. I'm under pressure now. I've got, I've got to train, whether I'm ready or not, mentally, I've got to train. I think uh, mentally he's not ready for this, man. Seriously, I think... I, think I don't think he was expecting Usyk to accept it that low. Yeah, the they're talking about is, money and Usyk's about legacy. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, um, I really believe just from that demeanour right there tells a lot that in someone. And I think he definitely isn't up for it. What do you think, Dil? Like, looking at him there. He doesn't seem up for it, but there's some videos that have come out. He seems right up for it now. He doesn't have much of a choice. That's that, That's probably why. Well, that's exactly because I think because he's angry and I think he's using anger to motivate himself because he, he hasn't been up for it. So now I think he's using anger to be up for it, if you like. Um, where, he, you know, normally he, he, this guy needs time to prepare mentally, I think, and he just wasn't given that time. So he's finding a way to, I think, be up for it. But let's carry on. Let's carry on. That, that's one fight I'd like to see 
I know Usyk is another fight we'd like to see, but you know, in, in terms of you, what's the one that really like gets you going, like competitive juices? Um, whichever one shows me the most money, because that's all I'm interested in, making money. Making money, getting paid, getting laid, getting out of there, driving Rolls Royces around and, you know, enjoying my family, yeah. taking my family to nice places, eating in nice restaurants. Is there anything more to do than it? All right, I thought so, you didn't care about the money. So what happened with, yeah. you could give me 150 million, ain't going to make a difference to my life. Money's material thing. I'm not interested in money. Da, 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 da. Now, it's all about the money. It's all I'm interested in. It's all about the money. I think I think he actually I don't think it's about the money. I think he just doesn't want to fight. He's just not in the mood. He's not in the mood to fight. I think that's what it is. And he's using this to say it's all about the money. That's why I think in the end he lowballed uh Yusik so much, hoping that fight isn't gonna happen. Because he's making it like so much about the money. Um, I'm gonna lowball this guy and he won't take the offer. And then, you know, it'll buy me some time. If I feel like it later on, I'll fight. But right now, I don't want to fight. So I'll use this as an excuse. That it's all about the money. And I'm worth this. And he's worth only 30%. Um, and I think that's where it backfired. Really. What do you guys think? It backfired hard, man. Yeah, it backfired hard. <laughs> he called his bluff. Yeah, he called his bluff, man. He didn't, he didn't, uh, he didn't see that coming, did he? I bet he's not going to be eating his sunflower seeds anymore. Whatever he's doing, man. He's chilling now. Yeah, well... Gonna start burning it all off. Yeah, exactly. Should we see what he's saying? Yeah, go on. Would the biggest fight be like one of those like weird like mismatch fights like in Ninganu? Don't know, you know. Like I keep saying in this interview, you never can tell what's around the corner. But I just don't know. I just don't know what, what fights are out there. And there's a lot of fights out there to be made if you can if people, they can be made. Because what I found out a lot in boxing is that in order to make these fights, the two parties have to be willing. And if one party is not willing, the fight will never get made. No matter how much money there is or how much whatever there is on the end of it, then it'll never get made because you can't drag somebody to do something that they don't want to do. Um, and I know that they, a lot of them want to say face as well. They want to be known as a top boxer, but they don't want to fight the top guys. So that what he's doing? That exactly, exactly. It sounds like exactly what he's saying. It's exactly what he's doing now. He's just contradicting it. Sound. Yeah. Is, exactly. Is that is it me or does that sound like exactly what he's doing right now? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. he's yeah. avoiding another top. He's avoiding Usyk. He's a top boxer right now. You, he can't deny that. Um, yeah. And then they got me thinking. Look, on his record, really, he's only got Wilder and Klitschko are the main threats that he fought. The rest, not Otto really. Wilder didn't hurt him. Yeah, but these names, they're not like legendary names or not even legendary names, but they're not like top names. I mean, like, for example, there's like, look, he asked about Ruiz just now. Not interested. Just shrugging it off. No, no, not interested. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, you, you if you want to be known as a top boxer, you should have all these names on your record. You know, I mean, he fought Chisora three times, for God's sake. Like, yeah. who and wanted I to see that? Wilder or fourth, right? It's stupid. I bet you if Wilder present, presented himself for a full fight, he would take it, hands down, and take it. Um, because I, I think, really, the names on his record should be better. Like, you know, AJ, yeah, he, he'd got quite a few, you know, not quite a few, but, few, you know, three losses now, is it? Ruiz and uh, uh, twice with Usyk. But at least he's been fighting quite a lot of names. You know what I mean? And, you know, and he ain't ducked, he ain't ducked draw, he ain't yeah, ducked like you were no saying. Way. You know, yeah, all right. The la latest fight, the Franklin guy is going to fight. That's a nonsense fight. But I think he, he can he can take that fight. You know why? He's openly uh, can tell he needs his confidence back. And he's doing it for that reason. He's not doing it to duck anyone. He's doing it to get himself back on track. You know, because at the end of the day, when you're in the fight game, Confidence plays a huge part of the game. And if you're not confident, no matter how good you are, you're going to lose. So I yeah. think he's doing it for that reason. But what is this guy? Fury, you know, I rate him, man. I actually said he's the like, best heavyweight in this era. But he's just letting himself down, man. He's so weird. He's uh, losing all his respect, man. Sorry. Yeah, man. Because uh, like this kind of stuff he's saying, it's just, it's not what you want to hear from like a heavyweight champion, is it? We need someone like Peace Morgan grilling him, bro. 
he might punch him in the face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boxers, in that boxing game, or even MMA, you're at the top of your game only for so long. So you need yeah. to make the money while you're at the top of your game. Yeah. They want everything they can get while they're on. Because you're putting your game. body, your brain. How's this now? Your health on. Is 34, 35? 30. 34, something like yeah. that. Something like that. He's rich yeah, in peak, bro. I get, you know, you got to make your money. Of course, man. Why not? But at the same time, um, you guys came on this boxing, you know, for legacy, right? You know, to be something to, to especially if you're, if, if you're comparing yourself to the greats, like in this video somewhere, I'm sure he mentions the greats, like, I will come to that. So how can you compare to the greats if this is how you're going on? Because they weren't about, you know, money all the time. Yeah. You know, they're trying to beat the best and be the best. But anyway, let's carry on. If you look how long it took to make uh, Mayweather Pacquiao, how long was that in the making? Like the longest time ever, seven, eight years. And then when they finally fought, I'd say Pacquiao was over the hill. It wasn't as good as a fight as it, it could have been. And yeah, so yeah. But yeah, you can't take nothing away from, from Floyd Mayweather because he beat the guy who a lot of people are talking about as the greatest fighter in history being Pacquiao because he's an eight-time world champion, moving up from all those weights. But I say, how can this guy be the greatest fighter in history if he got beat by Mayweather? But then again, Muhammad Ali lost fights and showed it to Gray Robinson. So everyone says uh, you can't define losses. But in my opinion, I don't do losses. Neither does Floyd, neither does Rocky. And that's because so, you're too busy avoiding someone like you, sir. <laughs> And Joshua, you tried to, but your bluff got called out. And Ruiz, I think Ruiz would have clocked him. If if you sick, yeah. if you sick said no to the thirty percent, what do you guys think would have happened? You wouldn't have gone ahead. You think he would have come yeah. back and said, "Okay, okay, thirty five percent." Nah, I think he would have like, ducked it. He'd have been like, "Yes, all right, he fighting happening, great. That's what I wanted." After a he would have gone wild. This coming up, yeah, right. No, but if you sick don't want to fight. I offered him a good deal. Uh, so why moving on now? Wild, what do you say? Full spot. That's all that happened. And then they would have split it. I guarantee you he would have split it better too. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. But yeah, carry on, bro. Let's carry on. Week and neither does Joe Calzaghe. So you can't really judge us with them because we've never lost. We've never had to be a... Well, I'm a two-time champion without losing a fight, so... That's quite special. Well, maybe if you duck some, can't, then uh, duck you can't. Exactly. And do it usually without taking a uh, a loss to become double champions and things. So it's difficult, very difficult. Do you feel in a way it's hurting the sport that we're not getting these fights? I don't feel like it's hurting the sport because just because, just say Spence and Crawford don't fight each other, doesn't mean Spence and Crawford can't fight everybody else in the division. Yeah, but we want to see Spence and Crawford. Why don't we want to see everyone else for? They spanked everyone else. What well, I want to see them spank everyone else again for. You know what I mean? We want to see the best fight the best. Of all weights. There's a lot of fights out there. There'll always be somebody else to fight, that's for sure. Uh, at the end of the day, He's I know right. you mentioned Floyd is undefeated. Do you feel that you will end your career undefeated? It's all right again. <laughs> You'll end the career undefeated and people will start saying, hey, Possibly the greatest yeah. heavyweight of all time. Yeah, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm in that conversation right now. Basically, all the achievements that I've had. I just outdid, I knocked um, Jack Dempsey off the number two spot in the lo longest reigning lineal champion. The only one in front of me now is Joe Lewis with. See, see, LBA see, look. This is what bothers me. He's comparing himself to the greats Jack Dempsey, Joe, Joe Lewis. Lewis. These guys, what's his record? What? He's, how many fights has he had? 33, 34? Yeah, they these had, guys, like had these, guys, these guys had double what he's had. Double, triple, bruvs. And and they fought non-stop all the best fights they could get. They had like four or five fights a year. How can you compare yeah. yourself to them? Like, just because uh, you ain't been as busy as them and the time has passed and you, now you think you're on their level. No, you can't do that. I think George George Foreman was a better champ than him. Deluded talking right here. George Foreman was a better champ than him. Yeah, definitely. These he guys. came back out of retirement. He lost. 
came back at retirement, won the championship. Yeah, exactly. That's special. Yeah. You know That's I mean? not easy. You have to work hard and you have to have that willpower, man. Don't get me wrong. I rate Fury still. Like I said, I still rate him. Yeah, I, 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 I got to rate, rate him. him for coming back from three years downhill. <laughs> you got to rate him. I got to rate. rate him for coming back from the three years depression and everything and pulling it back like this. That's great. It's the but, excuses. But right now, he ain't a good look. Exactly. And you can't comp- you can't compare yourself to people like Jack Dempsey and Joe Lewis when you're just sitting there shrugging off every you know fighting. You you can't even answer what's in it for you in the next uh, next fight. You know from the beginning when uh, Marcus Vega asked him, you know when we're gonna see you back in the ring. You know what I mean? Like these guys are double, triple the fights you have, and here you are sitting there. You can't even answer that question because you don't want to. You don't want to fight. So don't compare yourself to the greats like that. All right. So I think we heard enough on this interview. The main points anyway. And that is, you know, you'll see on our next videos, we're going to talk about the shorts, all, all these short clips that he's been sending to you, Sick, and you, Sick's been sending back, um, which is going to contradict. Back and forth. Back and forth going on, which is going to contradict all the nonsense he's been talking right here in this interview. Because in this interview, he don't get involved in negotiations, gives him anxiety, he doesn't know when he's going to fight next. His demeanor was not interested in fighting. It's just or, any, or anyone else for that matter. Not even Ru- someone like Ruiz was mentioned, shrugged, shrugged it all off. Then but it was Deontay, all about the money only. You know what I mean? And what are you saying, Dill? But Deontay was mentioned. Deontay was mentioned again. It looked like he wanted a full fight. Don't rule out a full fight. Come on. That's a clear sign to me that he wants a full fight. Um, he Clearly, to me, he don't want to fight. He don't want to fight not anytime soon anyway, and definitely not you, Sick. But you guys tell us what you think about this interview, uh, because after this interview, this was a week ago, more videos come out after it contradicting everything he said, and stay tuned for that one. That's going to be our next uh, video. We're going to go through these shorts, and you'll see how much this guy has gone downhill as a character. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's a great fighter still. I ain't going to never never knock that. But the way he's going on ain't a good look. The way he's conducting himself. Yeah, it's just, it's just not, it's not great. I mean, Fury fans are even turning on. And me and Dill, uh, probably a big Fury fan. I mean, I've always been. I but, still am. I still am. But this, <laughs> this, 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 I'm not liking this. But anyway, thank you for joining us. Catch you on the next one. All right. All right. All right. All right. Say it one more time. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right.